one slide, two dices, and on a click of one button, you are going to get a random dice, two and six. Six and four, <laughs> well, you get the gist. And along with that, we also have a 2D dice. Let's learn how to make it. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Go to insert and click on 3D model. Type dice and click on enter. Select the one that you like. I'm going to choose this and click on insert. Click on selection pane. You will see 3D model highlighted. Double click that. Change this to dice 1. This is the name of this shape. If you want one more dice, hold Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and drag it over here. You can rename the new one to dice 2. Now take a rectangle shape, draw it over here and type in it, roll the dice. And you can change the color to black because I like it. Now, we need to animate our dice. Select the first dice, go to animations. And first, we are going to have our zoom animation. Alright, let's bring out the animation pane and now add the jump and turn 3D animation. We can also select the shape and change the faces to see how it would actually look like. Take the new animation and make sure it starts with previous. You can make both the animations one second long. Select the 3D animation and under effect options, I like to choose clockwise. Select this shape, click on animation painter and select the second dice. Select the new animation, right click and make it start with previous. Now select all the animations by selecting the first one, hold shift on your keyboard and select the last animation. We need this to occur when we click on this rectangle shape. So go to trigger, on click off, rectangle 5. Perfect. Now we need to randomize it. To do that, go to home, right click over here, click on customize the ribbon. And make sure that your developer tab is enabled and click on OK. Now go to this website. The link will be available below the like button. Click on step 4 VBA code. Copy the code and go back to our PowerPoint. Click on developer. Click on visual basic. Right click and insert a new module. And paste what we just copied. Now select the rectangle shape. Go to insert, action, and we need to run this code and that will happen when spin dice is the macro. Click on OK. Now if you go to slideshow mode and you click on roll the dice, you see that we have 3 and 1. If you play again, you will see we have 1 and 3. <laughs> again, 3 and 6. Well, you understand how this works. Now if you want only one dice, you can delete the second dice, go to the code, and change this to 1 to 1 and bring this to center. Now if you do not have 3D animations, you can use 2D images and make this possible. So insert a new slide. So go to insert, click on pictures and I have these six pictures which I'm going to insert. Click on align and make it center and then make it middle. So all of these are under each other. and Click on the first shape and make it A1. Second shape, double click, rename it to A2. Similarly, you have to do it until A6. If you want to have one more dice, select all these shapes, hold Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and drag it over here. Now these have to be renamed from B1 to B6. Now you can go back to our earlier rectangle shape and just copy paste that. Now we need a new code. Go back to our website and if you scroll down, we have the 2D dice and the code over here. Copy the code, go back to developer, visual basic, scroll down and just paste it over here. So select the rectangle shape, go to insert, action and run the macro, shuffle dice and click on OK. If you go to slideshow mode, dice is being shuffled. Oh, and one more thing, if you're saving PowerPoint files that have macros, make sure to save them as a PowerPoint macro enabled presentation or a macro enabled show. If you want to download these templates, that is available over here. 
And hey, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to our channel as it helps me make more videos.